diverse elastics totally changed the game for creative workflow. We can create anything we want now in one software in Realflow, and this includes cloth simulations uh, and any any kind of rigid or elastic body simulations together with fluids as well. Uh, diverse elastics extremely fast, especially if CUDA OpenCL is involved, and. Uh, also, it has explicit quality. Uh, the main rule is the, you don't have to go very high, both with geometry resolution and with domain resolution. Mainly uh, with a very kind of low resolution, you can gain great results. And for this example, uh, you see only the change in the width of the simple cube, which is inside real flow. We will go through all of this, uh, but it's just amazing what you can do with uh, within minutes, within seconds sometimes. So we are given all the tools we need to actually create great design and stand for its values uh, while having fun with the workflow itself. Uh, so we will go this simulation uh, in this lesson, we will create this kind of cloth um, beauty and uh, it actually goes within the simulation itself takes up to three minutes only with the highest production level quality so just imagine how great your future work will be with Reflow now when you have elastics and rigid body simulations and fluids in one so be prepared to create amazing work now and have freedom of speed and space to actually create instead of thinking about any other technical details because it's extremely simple, fast and joyful to use. So let me walk you through a few steps you definitely need to know before you get into elastics and then we will go through all of this uh, details how you can recreate this cloth uh, simulation. First and foremost, before you do anything, go F12 to export central and disable animation SD and cache BDC because you don't need those. Um, this is to save you from any mistakes. Uh, other than that, particle skinner itself uh, has few, very few values, which is very simple to use. Search distance, it will actually, um, the bigger number will give you more calculations and more precise looks and this will calculate more neighbors around the vertex vertexes of your object as you, as you can see uh, any object you skinned with particles it actually has these particles around in inside it uh, also uh, max control particles uh, the bigger value will give you more um, precise calculations as well but usually a uh, default value of four is is good uh, the only exception sometimes if you want to still have uh, very few wrinkles and you have um, uh, still see any wrinkles you can leave the search distance uh, quite low 0.2 for example as it is right now and increase your max control particles up to 100 or so um, it might help you just just giving you the heads up. Uh, outside control particles, uh, by default, uh, system calculates inside particles. Uh, but if you have any uh, thin layers like cloth, uh, it it would be good. Um, for example, if it's very thin, uh, it would be good to use um, outside control particles. Uh, other than that, substeps is extremely important, both with search distance and max control particles. Uh, and uh, as always, substeps and frames per second you you actually choose to be uh, has direct results. So uh, if you have bigger frames per second, of course, more calculations will be done for each frame per second and more um, accurate results you will get. Uh, also, if you have too too little of uh, substeps, uh, sometimes um, stiffness uh, might not be very visible. So keep that in mind. You can add up different geometries into one domain, and uh, auto collision will calculate those accuracy of collision between those 
objects. Uh, body stiffness is the main value you will play around with. Uh, bigger values uh, will in introduce you uh, with more rigid body feels and looks and smaller values will be more less stiff. So like gummy bear for example or cloth. Uh, and uh, we don't recommend you to use higher values than one and damping is like in any other domain um, the smaller values will introduce more um, accurate calculations and bigger values actually might introduce more um, viscous looks um, other than that uh, do not overuse um, resolution you don't need to go very very high with it uh, try to find the golden middle because even with lower resolution you really can get uh, the looks you want so let's keep it going as rigid and elastic body simulations within diversal which gives us freedom and flexibility we always wanted to have so we creators and designers are extremely happy about it and let me show you how quickly it is and how insane you can go with elastics and diverso so let's create any kind of object right now for example cube and go back to diverso and press elastic there you go it created particle skinner over it simply skinned uh, your object with particles and now we have elastic body we can change um, resolution and all of that and we will do that uh, but let's just see what it does by default um, let's create um, let's create gravity and um, plane so this is the classic example what you can do let's go up with that let's hide the grid um, there you go, you just simply let's hide it and let's just see what it does. Um, we don't want to save it up. Um, let's change the name. So I won't rewrite anything, overwrite anything else. Let's see. There you go. It already has some effects, but it's kind of boring right now, right? Uh, so let's do something more interesting. Um, let's change the cube. I would like to see something really, really thin and long. Kind of thin. So we would have more motion in it. What do we have? We have thin line. <laughs> we need more resolution. So that's what we do and what that's what we will do right now. Oh, maybe it's too much. Let's see what we have. Haha, <laughs> there you go. It's really fun, isn't it? It already acts as you would want it to act. Uh, by default, we didn't even change anything. Here's the example of stiff elastic body and less stiff elastic body and it's very visible. If you don't see it, amp up the sub steps, this will help you or frames per second. See how it actually behaves differently. Uh, also, you can add up as much uh, geometry you want. Uh, you can simply choose um, and uh, think of creative ways to use it. I highly recommend you to to explore different kind of stiffness and uh, different kind of geometries but you don't have to go very high res resolution with geometry just use anything built in or very simple ones and uh, this is an example of noise so the bigger values uh, in the noise uh, scale will give you more detailed noise and the lower values uh, over there will give you more sculpting uh, in a bigger sense like this uh, so the motion itself will be in a bigger scale so it's kind of the opposite uh, and uh, the strength itself uh, will, can help you actually sculpt it very smoothly if you use it very slightly as you see it right here 
Also, you can interact with and sculpt anything with fluids. Those can be nice streams as well, or just a helping tool to sculpt anything you want.